Hey everyone, Karant here, welcoming you back to Citizens of Earth. Last time, we finished collecting pretty much just about everybody else in the game, at least that we can get to right now, as far as citizens are concerned. So now it's back to the story. And, well, it took me a little bit longer than I'd like to admit to try to find the way around to where we are now, which looks to be the entrance to the Starbucks. Because, well, again... I kind of wish you could zoom in on these mini-maps, because if you could, I would have probably more quickly seen that there actually was an, a river entrance right by the casino. Then you go down and you go right kind of where it's bending off to the left here, the top area. Then that takes it down over here. I tried going up to the top, I tried going around from the bottom entrance, and you can't do it either way. So it's, it's a little tricky, but we finally found it, so let's go. And here's our, uh, here's our crashed moon box. Uh, can we go in said moon box? We actually can, okay. Looks like the moon box is relatively intact. Hmm. Yeah, it's only a little worse for wear. You ever think you'd be chasing a flying coffee shop around the globe? Heck, you ever think you'd be getting this much face time with the second most powerful man in the world? Mm-hmm. Actually, while we're on the subject, I have a lot of policy issues I'd like to discuss with you. Sorry, all work-related matters must be submitted in writing. I'm off the clock. Charge! Well, that's nice. Now, the good news is, for the most part, our party pretty much looks to be ready for this area. Excuse me. Sorry. So, our party pretty much looks to be ready for this area because we have Lifeguard, who has strong water attacks, and Scientist, who does as well. If I really wanted to tip the scales in my favor, I'd toss Conspiracy Guy in, but that would probably take away the rest of the difficulty. Alright, so let's look around and see what we can find here. Alright, we got a new yoga mat for our yogi. And I'm going to duck around you. Well, okay. What is that then? Also, what the heck are you guys? Oh, y'all are the coffee folks at the start. Wow. Alright, so it looks like we've got the... Why are you guys even here? I guess they just stayed in the moon bugs from when it flew around, sure. didn't they? And they are still just as easy. Okay, so let's go into a hole. Um, I didn't mean to do that, but okay. I meant to explore the outside first. Crap. I can't go back up. Okay, well, I guess let's uh, take Charge. you out. And take you guys out. Charge. Never doubted you for a second. And our Maverick hit level 23, so he's out of abilities, unfortunately, but we're still getting him some good experience, and he very much needs that defense. Holy crap. Alright, so let's see if we can jog around. Okay, nothing special there. We got a. Oh dear. Another teleporter? Okay, um. Yeah, that, let's. I'm going back into the teleporter because this is. Well, I'm not exploring like I want to. I'm just sitting here hitting all of these bits, and suddenly I'm going places. All right, so let's take a little better look around here first, and see if there's any treasures or anything like that kind of waiting for us. All right. Uh, the only bad thing kind of about this place are the hallways are very narrow, so we're getting attacked by a lot of enemies really oh. fast. I guess what I might want to do on floors like this is just clean out a bunch of enemies and then see if there's any treasures or anything like that. Get em. Okay, so... Uh, hello you. Looks like things Charge. open up a little more. Alright, so now that those guys are down, is there anything more over... Well, there's more enemies. Let's see, is there any treasure down this way? No. But, if nothing else, we can... Okay, I don't think we can really suck our enemies into this, can we? I'm trying to get to where maybe I can avoid at least one or two of them to walk around for a second. Or I guess they could just run into me anyway. Okay, well, let's go kill you guys. I gotta say, though, it's pretty hilarious watching the juxtaposition of these older enemies with all of the new ones that we see. Eureka. And Marie Curie leveled up in the middle of that battle by me killing the snake, so... 
I mean, she certainly wasn't going to level up off killing the Java Bean, but hey, there you go. I'll definitely take levels. And after killing the cat here, we see something of a familiar sight. This lovely machine right here, which we can't seem to interact with. At least, oh yeah, we can. Here we go. Wandering ball of light, your journey can now continue. Leave with this bold, red-headed man and proceed on to save the world. Wait, who said that? Oh my gosh, a citizen joins the team. Photon can allow you to speed up time. Okay... I didn't think I was going to be getting a ball of light on my team. Uh, well... Oh my gosh, what am I going to name this thing? Um... Well, this is more a... a light phenomenon than it is anything else, but I'm going to call you Corona, I think. So... We have a ball of light as a party member, what the heck? It starts out at level 15 is strong against, they're strong with physical and against physical, I guess. Pretty decent stats for a level 15. Also, we have, huh, okay. We have items for it. How do we have items for it? And I'm equipping this because acting twice, if you do something that gives ability, that losing one ability each round is not that big a deal. All right, physical attack. Two to seven weak physical attacks against all enemies. See, that's good. Let's see. Changes color to blue. Attacks will deal hydro damage. Changes color to green. Attacks will deal bio. Changes color to... What the heck? So this is basically a scientist or a conspiracy guy except at level 15, pretty much. My goodness. Absor gives defense up and special defense up. Absorbs light. Okay. Release absorbed light in an attack. If hit with special damage, attacker receives the damage they dealt. Strong physical attack at 100% accuracy. The heck? I mean, if we get this thing leveled up, it looks like a pretty good damage dealing party member. So I'm actually going to sub you in for Gambler here because I've been worried about Gambler's frailty. Of course, I say that and this guy's probably more frail than he is. All right, let's see, defensive 26. Actually, not really. Gambler, where'd you go? There you are. Yeah, your defense is 27, you're level 23, so... Now, granted, that special attack is better, obviously, but levels up, I think, will fix that. Wow, okay, so we have ourselves a ball of light as a party Charge. member. Good luck. I mean, we might as well go ahead and, I guess, keep this battle up so we can show it off. The heck? How do... Sorry, I'm just still like bleh, 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 about all this. All right, so let's see if you're okay. So we can switch you to can switch you to blue what a push and have you dealing water damage this battle. If even I don't know if it's even gonna be necessary though, honestly. You like that, huh? <laughs> nice. Ooh, ouch. Okay, so yeah, the losing one ability point is going to be a little rough, but not too bad. Let's see, okay, so yeah, just go ahead and keep it up, guys. Oh my gosh, wow, this is insane. This calls for a celebration. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, still trying to figure all this out here. Alright, so I guess let's just circle, we can't pull, man, we can't pull up a map here. So if we want to circle around without fighting enemies, we can just go back where we came from, but let's um, still kill some stuff, just to uh, see where we can go here. Or we could take that teleporter, that works too. Uh, where are we now? Are we back where we were? In the, yeah, it looks like we are, back in the moon bucks itself, whoops. Well done, team. Alright, so Corona hit level 16 and has a nifty little level up bit, and got a new ability, Blinding Light. Now, it's a good thing that Corona leveled up because, well, it kind of died. So, what I'm actually going to do is, where is 
the brain nectar. I'm gonna use it on Corona, because why not? So let's get them levels rolling. Level 17, level 18, which will get us a new ability, particle accelerator, okay. And yeah, you see that special attack and defense climbing here a bit. Then you've got, let's see, level 19. Okay, so that's all the abilities. 20, 21, 22, and we didn't get the sound effect that time. That brings you up to 23, and we should hit 24, because we've got enough experience for it. Yeah, we do, okay, cool. So yeah, there you go. You've got a fair bit more HP now, and you've got a lot more defense than Gambler did, so holy mackerel. All right, so that's good. I think I'm gonna, I know there are two more party members left. One of them is Secretary, because he's been taunting us the whole time. And the other party member, I'm not sure who it is, but I think I'm gonna save my brain juice and brain smoothies for them, just to be able to kind of get them into the ball game a little bit easier. All right, let's skirt around, see if we've got any treasures and such. I'm gonna try to run from the big enemies unless I, also, I'm sorry, I'm noticing the light trail that's trailing behind Photon or, well, Corona, I mean. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's still dance around here. It's kind of funny because, okay, so we've got another hole that we can jump into if we want to. It's good, though, that we can get back up if we need to. Let me jump in this hole and see. Actually, no, let's not do that. Let's look around here the whole way and uh, kill you little snacks. Get him! Never doubted you for a second. All right, so Baywatch hit level 34 as a result of that, so good boosts of cordy, accordingly, of course. And it's nice to see Corona's boosting agility because we kind of need that. Okay, so let's see if we can dodge around all the the hack jobs here and explore this place a little bit more. I kind of wish that the the new enemies the you know, the cactuses and the the snakes and such would avoid us, but they do not, sadly. It's kind of funny, though. They can just drive right over the holes and we can't. It's a little weird. Okay, so... Now, nah, this is taking me just back to that middle, I think. Go. Yep, hi. Alright, so on second thought, I'm gonna go ahead and unequip that item from Corona because I feel like it's not actually doing that much good because the lose one ability each round happens every round, no matter whether it attacks or not. So I'm just gonna switch off to normal. I think it'll be a little bit better that way. All right. It's... Yeah, it looks like this really is. Oh, here we go, treasure. Thank you. Capitalism I will take minus. some free coffee. Thank you very much. And accidentally fall down a hole. All right, go. yeah, you guys are all back, unfortunately. And I'm thinking I'm probably going to need to make my way back down to the bottom to progress. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to head down to the bottom, which unfortunately means working my way back through all these guys, or around some of them. That would be nice. Okay, uh, yeah, crap. Okay, is this the teleport? No, this is the teleporter that takes me back to the uh, beginning, isn't it? Where's that other, where'd that other one go? Uh, okay, yeah, let's just keep working our way around. Okay, so, is it over Get this up. way? All right, it looks to be, but I think I'm gonna have to go after one or two more enemies before I'm able to make it back through. All right, so that should pretty well clear the way. So let's take the teleporter now. And it looks like we are in a new section, which of course we had already seen before. But, given that the theme is a little bit darker and more sophisticated, I think things are about to get a bit dicier. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it off here. And next time on Citizens of Earth, we will keep exploring the moon bucks and hopefully figure out, well, I mean, why a coffee shop is flying in the first place. But then again, we've been trying to figure out that out the whole game. So, thank you guys for joining me, as always, and I will see y'all later.